So guys, look, I have literally been trying to record this intro a billion times and I feel like every time I do it, I forget to say something. I forget to mention something or I say too much. So look, today's video is about making homemade hand sanitizer. It's simple. Aloe vera gel, alcohol, essential oils. If you don't have essential oils, no biggie. If you got them, great. You got them, you don't want to use them, fine, whatever. You don't need that one. You just need the alcohol and the um, aloe vera gel. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make it with the um, measurements so you guys can get the consistencies right because that's super important. And then I've got some little bottles that I'm going to put them in that I actually just found in the house. I actually had all these ingredients here. So just a little clear bottle that I'm just going to fill these up with. I actually have hand sanitizer here. I have all the ingredients here. I didn't have to go out and buy anything. I just happen to have everything in the house. So if you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you can get notified every single time I post a new video. If you're a returning subscriber, hey, thanks so much. Nice to see you again. Like I said, I'm going to get more consistent. You'll see more of me. You'll see more videos. You'll see what's going on. So I appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to quit rambling, quit talking. We're going to jump right into the video. See you guys on the other side. Bye. Okay, guys. So I'm back showing you how to make this hand sanitizer with this recipe you can fill up about two of these i don't know how many ounces they are but um it literally fills them up to the rim with like a tiny like about a teaspoon or maybe two teaspoons left over so you're going to take a third of the aloe vera gel you're going to drop that in there if you hear carson running around <laughs> i apologize so he is here and <laughs> running back and forth you're going to take that, put that in there. Um, like I said before, a lot of this stuff I already had here. And then you're going to take two-thirds of the alcohol. You have to use at least 70. They actually recommend you use a little bit higher, I read. But like I said, this is what I had on hand was the 70. And then if you don't have essential oils, you don't have to use them. Uh, I'm actually going to put this in like a little hand pump. I have this one here that I got, which I've already had. It's my Kia. So you're just going to mix this up. It's not going to take a long time, but it's going to take longer than, you know, a couple seconds because you have to like break up the aloe vera gel because it's heavier and it tends to want to settle to the bottom. So I always do the little circles and then kind of go around it on the edge break it up it's really simple it doesn't really take long i have some eucalyptus essential oils it smells really good um put as many drops as to your liking for fragrance. So I'm just breaking it up. It actually smells pretty good. So I'm just going to mix, 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 mix. Um, I don't have a funnel. So <laughs> in place of a funnel, I'm just going to put it in something bendy so that I can put it in this container. This is actually glass. Um, that's just what I have on hand. And that's just what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to bring this a little closer so that you guys can kind of see. See in the bottom of the aloe vera is just kind of in there. You can see it. And then there's some clumps. <laughs> because I want to add a little bit more fragrance because the alcohol will overpower because it's alcohol. Just gonna add a little bit more fragrance. All right, so at this point, 
I think I got that mixed enough. Just gonna pour in this so that I can evenly. And then I would recommend if you're pouring it and you don't have a funnel, just do it over the bowl. Over the bowl. can see the aloe vera in the bottom there. I don't know how many ounces this glass thing is, but looks like it's gonna fill that to the rim. Sorry, that was getting out of the camera there. So literally, it's hand sanitizer, so. Just enough room for me to put my top on. I got my pump. Oops. Got my pump of hand sanitizer. So it's all in there. So I've got that one. And I got these two other ones. So you guys, like I said, it's super simple. It only takes a couple minutes. Just showing you guys how to go through the process and then you've got it. I'll have, probably have this one by the door when we first come in. And then this might be like maybe downstairs by the kids' video games or something like that because they like to play video games all day. So, okay guys, thanks for checking out my video. I hope you like my how to make your own hand sanitizer. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And forget to hit, don't forget to hit that bell so that you can get the post notifications. Carson likes it, the hand sanitizer. So, see you guys on the next video. Bye. See ya. Say see ya.